hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting reactions for Ride with Norman Reedus because I think I do it every season or I have done it every season since season two. So we're continuing the streak. I love this damn show. I love me some Norman. So let's just go. I'm bringing my Dixon family with me. My brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rooker is this week's guest. Rooker is a wild character. A decade can seem like a lifetime and at the same time happen in the blink of an eye. Yup. So it's a bit surreal to be returning to Sonoy to start another season of The Walking Dead. For me, the road back to Georgia has always been a solo journey. But this ride calls for different plans. So I'm in Alabama to pick up one hell of a local boy. I was just gonna say, Rooker will just ride out of the fucking bushes. What's up, brother? <laughs> Look at you! Brother. Hang on a second, does he have hair? For decades, Michael Rooker has had an uncanny ability to turn the most badass characters into iconic fan favorites. I met Rooker like five or six years ago. He's such a nice dude. This looks good. What do you get recognized most for? Yandu, Merle, Henry Porter, a serial killer? Like, what? Merle, I would say. They love Yandu. Yandu is a very cool guy, very badass guy. I, I don't play badass when I'm hanging and dealing with my grandkids. <laughs> oh, that wasn't expected. I got a six month old right now. Two? Nine. He's got a tooth coming right in the middle of her mouth. It's just like, yeah. Six days, six days, seven days, something like that. So this is a ride back to work. You know I mean? God damn, this must have been filmed almost yeah. a year ago yeah. then. With you. No, dude, are you kidding me? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. The, the brothers together again. Yeah. Dixon brothers. How is that show going to last, man, do you think? Walking Dead, man, I don't know. I never thought it would go past the, the, the pilot. God damn. I was like, ah, that's it for me. Yeah. Rooker's being a thousand done. percent I here. I can't take the horse. Hey, where are we going today? What are we doing? <laughs> I love Norman casually changing the topic. He's like, how long do you think is it going to last? And Norman's like, where are we going? But there's a unique bond between the original cast. For us, it was a weird little zombie show no one else believed in. Yeah. In our lives, they all changed together. So it's pretty cool to be bringing Roker back to where it all began. Here's where I grew up. Whoa. I've always said it. The one thing I'd love to get more than anything is like a Dixon Brothers photo. Photo up. I flunk first grade. How do you flunk first grade? This here used to be my grandma's house right here. Oh, wow. This is really that's, personal. That's my cousin right there. Yeah, let's go back and say hi. That's absolutely I mental. No idea that we're here. What's up, girl? <laughs> oh, oh. Man, so happy you don't like being on camera. Oh, man, I gotta take pictures with you. Okay, let's do it. This is my neighbor. Hi Greg, how you doing? Watch them introducing oh, everybody. Nice to meet you. Hey, guys. Walking Dead mess. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is what? The Walking Dead mess. Ooh. Merle, my name Merle is Merle. 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 I know it. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, you gotta love Norman. He's down for She's anything. A stranger just takes him by the hand and he just goes. He's like, okay, I'm going in here now. She don't like cameras. Good thing we stopped off at our goddamn house then. God, if that was me, I'd be like, get out. The fuck? That's a lot of dolls. Someone clearly doesn't have a fear of Annabelle. She didn't make any butt of me. Because you didn't let me know. I want you to look at all these messages I sent him and he didn't respond. Take a picture with us, because we want we're gonna we can't stay here all day. Tell me. We're busy people, woman. Yeah, let me get this. I like that she's Can Michael's you? cousin, but she, he's just you eating the yogurt. <laughs> um, she's his cousin, but like she's still excited to meet Norman. Like, God bless her. Look at her. He just rolled up with a camera crew and Norman robbed her fucking yogurts and left. Bye, doll. I still get asked about the scene where I find you. Yeah. I start crying. Oh. I start stabbing you more than any scene on The Walking Dead. Birmingham is full of color, full of light, it's full of opportunity. It's full of people that are working together to make a better city for those who come behind us, just like those who fought for where we are now. We've been invited to meet with a motorcycle club who have strong ties to its streets to find out why. 
These are all you guys' bikes. Oh, man, are they ever? The organization was formed back in 96. Uh, we're one of the largest Good year. clubs in the world. Over See, you're always born. Chapters worldwide. Right on. We've been in Birmingham just doing our thing, community service, and doing good in the hood, as they say. To be a part of the organization, you have to be either retired or active duty military, oh, law wow. enforcement, or business professional. Wow. So... You're born and raised here. Born and raised. I've been in public service for quite some time and stumbled upon being the mayor in the last 17 months. Oh, that's awesome. I knew probably since my junior year of college I wanted to become the mayor of my hometown. That man is a mayor. He's incredibly handsome for a mayor. History. But if you fast forward to 2019, we've had a spike in violence in the city. Like a lot of urban cities across America. We have lived in the streets, been in the streets understand the streets. If my bike breaks down on the side of the road, it'll be another person on a motorcycle that'll stop to help me. There's a freedom, but there's also a brotherhood of, I got your back, you got my back. The South has a... He symbolizes the iron ore that was manufactured here in Birmingham during the founding of the city. Uh, wow. The original Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> I love about this is that we get history, we get to the learn about the places Baptist we're going. Church. It's a place of worship. It was bombed in the 60s and four little girls were killed. Mm -hmm. Several people were injured. We can look back at the things that happened in Birmingham and we can think of ways to make our communities, make our cities, make our states a lot better. So it's my hope people across Alabama, Georgia, and throughout the nation continue to resist discrimination on any front. See, like the, the history that you get to learn, the little glimpses that you get into these places, you know what I'm saying? Like I'd never know half of the stuff about these places because I've never been. The states and all the little cities and the ins and outs. They're all so, like, kind of mysterious to me. I know nothing about this shit. Um, with the local bikers, um, another essential part of Birmingham's history. But yeah, it's not just about, like, bikes. It's about the history and the story and the people. And I really love that. Hey, how are you? I'm good, man. What's up, man? Norman, hi. Nick, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nick and Norman. If you get the reference, you get the reference. I'm Norman, how are you? Why the hate? What does that even mean, hate? It's a southern word for a ghost. Oh, I never heard that before. It's because seeing a chopper in Alabama was kind of like seeing a ghost. Steel and iron, a lot of metal. Birmingham was called the Magic City because it grew so quick because of those resources that were there. It's like it popped up overnight. I'm Norman, nice to meet you. Hey, Michael Rooker. Hey, Norman's like, I am Norman, and Rooker's like, I'm Michael Rooker. First and last name. What is this place? Birmingham's one of the few places in the world where all three natural materials exist to create iron. So you've got iron ore, coal, and limestone all in the ground right here around Birmingham. And we're like, it's important to us, we want to save it, so they reopened as a museum to industry. And you're going to catch it just like that. I don't know that I would trust Norman around things like this. You can kind of see that metal moving around on top Holy there. shit! That's probably about 2300 degrees. I can't be the only one who sees something like that and I just yeah. want to fucking yeah, touch perfect. it. I know. More. Don't do that. But like you, you get that un indes indescribable urge to just like touch. Day. As you can see, we took these molds from Glove. Look at that, baby! Shut up! Oh my god! Dude, that is awesome. That is fucking incredible! Y'all ready to catch some on fire? Hell yeah! Yeah, let's do this. Do they get to keep them? Love it. And it's always better when it's on fire, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Norman's like, yeah, let's light it on fire and send it into the sky! Can you imagine, like, living nearby and just seeing fireballs go to the sky and you're like, ah, yeah, that's just the lads. They're, they're up to their shenanigans again. Brent Hines needs no introduction. He was on it before. Mostly because I already gave him one when we rode together in Louisiana. I have the privilege of calling him a super big friend. It's good to see you. I thought she was gonna say I have the privilege of calling a super fan. I was gonna be like, damn, all right, Norman. It's a, it's a haunted chicken factory. What? What? They have real chickens? Yep. That's Rooker's only question. Oh my god, he's trapped. Yeah. This guy's gotta be warm. And I'm Chicken Dan. Nice to meet you, Chicken Dan. Here, this is he sounded so like Michael Rooker. Where does somebody come up with the idea for something like this? I feel like your reflexes would kick in, though. Someone jumped out in front of you, you just automatically just dunk into the face. Whoa, that's pretty. <laughs> Look at how cautious he is! I hate this. What is this? Completely in the dark or something? <laughs> I like that.
Why did he try to laugh it off? The motherfucker got jump scared. I was just gonna say it, all the dolls! Same. He must be used to that though, seeing that at conventions all the time. Oh my god! <laughs> they go skating? Hey, that's Susan Jeffries thing. They do that all the time. Your man is not impressed with his fucker, whoever the dude next to him is. Um, I like that we go from like the haunted chicken farm to like raising. I want to see them on skates. What do you remember about Jasper back then? I remember. Pretty small. Everything. I was just. I would leave the house. It was just so much fun to be out in the yeah. woods and yeah. play and shoot my BB guns and stay out all day long. I can't go anywhere with my mom or my cousin. Anything music related, he, he won't grant me. Like, yeah. hey, uh, yeah. I cannot go to the theater with any of my sisters. No, like stand up and go, oh my god, there he is, and look, he's right here. And I'm like, get me out of here. That's so they sweet, though. Well, Don't you hurt him! Yeah. <laughs> oh! That's so no, cute! No, you know what I was? It was so hot outside. Like, his head looked like bacon. Everybody was just like, <laughs> Rooker is, is killing it today. Steven comes up with a gun, I slap the gun away and smacks you in the face! <laughs> I never ever said what happened during that thing. Oh my god, you got never slapped once, in the face? I think maybe once when I was like 12. I don't remember it going well. Oh my god, I am so good at this shit, I'm not even, I'm not even bragging. <laughs> I had never been skating before, I mean my boyfriend went like a year ago. That was, my boyfriend was like that, he was clinging onto walls and shit, David I'm sorry, but you were. <laughs> oh my god, Norman, look at him. You're good, right here, right there, you're good, that's perfect. Hey guys. How are you doing? How are you? Welcome to Cascade in Atlanta. You guys look amazing already. Thank you. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> They're like, we look amazing. I'm not letting go of this wall. We start everybody out with just a shuffle. So you just want to take your feet and do like this. It's like a workout, right? He yeah. looks like he's going to slap off the floor. Skating Watch how tense his arms are. He's like, do one. I want to see someone face plant the floor. Come on now. <laughs> Rooker's not bad. Good job. He's doing fucking great. What the hell? We gotta go back and get him. Yeah. He's like, I wanna go home. I was gonna do that, but I thought I'd just sit down. Had a bad car accident, and once I got over the injuries, I just needed a great way to work out and just get stress out. Everybody was so different. You know, you have doctors, you have teachers, you have people with the story. This rink is like home for a lot of us, and. We come and now I teach skating here and it's just oh, so gone. Awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for the lessons. Norman's just glad to be out of the fucking skates. <laughs> what I love though is I love like he's such a badass. He's so cool. But then you see him do something he's not great at and he just looks like a normal ass person. You know, he's not Daryl Dixon anymore. He's that agent in the corner holding onto the wall. <laughs> what all did you do to him? All the suspensions going through this long. It reminds me of something that you'd see in Monsters Inc. Dude, let's do this. I'm excited. Ready? Yeah. The green car is gorgeous. <laughs> Man, but this shit is living out in the world doing crazy stuff like this. I mean, I can't drive, but my god, I'd love to do this shit. Maybe once I get my license. <laughs> and there'd be no Walking Dead without the devoted team behind the scenes. So tonight. I'm getting the crew together at my restaurant, Nick and Norman's. You don't realize how strong some bonds have become until you return to the place they were forged. Someday I'm gonna get to go to Nick and Norman's, man. It's a dream. I really wanna go there. I wanna see all of Georgia. That was an epic journey. But like specifically like this kind of area. Right on, my man. You wanna go see some old friends? You ready for this? I'm ready. Let's get it. Is that Denise? Denise Hot, I think her name is? Greg. Greg would win hands down. Come on now. Whether your your character is still alive, or your character is gone. We are a family. We all leave a little piece of ourselves with everybody here uh, that you gave us. Oh my God. <laughs> What's he giving him? Oh my God. Imagine going to hanging out with your friend, right? 
just for like a motorbike kind of thing, like a fun weekend, and then you end up being handed a hand. I mean, for them, I guess it's not, it's not out of the usual. <laughs> This is 10 seasons for us on Walkie Dead, which is a huge freaking thing, right? I want to thank Michael for doing this episode. My brother. Oh, cool. right. oh, cool. Yeah. Hometown. Back to Georgia. Oh, Rook is getting yeah. emotional. Yeah. Dude, I got to tell you, I am, I am, I love this. I love this. Yeah. Ask oh, my God. Live, and the answer is usually pretty simple. But ask what they consider home, and that's when things get tricky. The Walking Dead is the greatest summer camp. All these people, they would do anything for me, and I would do anything for them. And, you know, man, that's pretty, it's pretty special. Fuck you, Norman. Oh, my God. I just wanted to have fun. I don't, I'm, lads, I don't know. Am I just a little bitch? Am I just a little bitch who cries at everything? I don't think I am. I'm not that kind of person. I generally don't cry a lot, but, oh, that got to me. I really like this show. I feel like it's so fucking different to everything that's out there like it, it's kind of like a docu-series or whatever obviously it's scripted there's moments where people are you know they're where they're supposed to be when they're passing by or whatever there's just something so authentic about this show about ride with norman um like i said i don't know anything about bikes okay I, I don't even have a fucking license my guys i don't even drive a car and i still love this shit Ugh. but yeah you guys that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed I don't know what that voice crack was. It's been a, that was just an emotional one. If you guys would like to see more content, I have a Patreon where I do reactions to throwback episodes of The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, Stranger Things, The Boys, Superstore, and I recently started reactions to Lucifer and with the knee and Peaky Blinders, as well as like movies and live streams and stuff. So the link to that is down below if you want to check that out. And if and if you're not interested in that and you just want to connect, the link to my Twitter is down below too. I'm always lurking. I'm always doing or saying something over there. So.